Notice the red area located on the side of the foot. This is where the pain associated with bunions occurs. When we view the foot from above, we see how the bunion protrudes out next to the great toe. Once the skin disappears, we see how the tendons and muscles insert around the great toe joint. Now viewing the foot closer, we see how cutting the tendon allows for exposure to the abnormal bone growth. The tendons on the opposite side of the joint are also released to eventually allow the great toe to achieve normal alignment. As you see the tendons and muscles disappear, you can now appreciate the size of the abnormal bone growth. That abnormal bone growth or bunion is then removed. We must now realign the great toe joint to prevent the bunion from growing back. Now, looking underneath the great toe joint, we see two very small sesamoid bones. The red lines indicate where the long bone will be cut. By viewing the foot from above, we can see how a small triangular shape of bone is removed. This will allow the great toe to be realigned. The entire segment of bone is then repositioned over the two small sesamoid bones. A guide pin is then inserted for positioning of the screw, and a temporary stabilization pin is then inserted. The bone surrounding the guide pin is then countersunk. The hollow screw is then placed over the guide pin and screwed securely into the bone. This technique provides the bone tremendous stability and allows for rapid bone healing. The remaining shelf of bone is then removed and the edges of the bone are polished smooth. Now that the great toe joint has been realigned, the long bone may reposition itself to near normal anatomical alignment. A small segment of the tendon that was initially cut is removed and the tendon is advanced forward. This will increase the mechanical function of that tendon in maintaining the great toe alignment. The tendon on the opposite side of the long bone will be released if it contributes to the bunion deformity. The tendons that were released will eventually heal and help maintain the integrity and stability of the great toe joint. Finally, we see how the foot has healed in its newly aligned position.